Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be doing something a bit different to nails. We're going to be making some jewellery for our practice hands. Now I have a, I think it's a flexi hand coming from Australia. Um, she'll be here in the next week or two. So I thought I'd have a go at making some pretty jewellery. Now I did see um, a lady do this yesterday. I can't say her name because I can't pronounce it, but I will leave the link to it um, in my description box below so you can go and have a look. But I've got the inspiration from her. And this is the one I made earlier. Now this is a bit a bit of an aff one because I did it really quickly. Um, just to sort of say I can oh I can do that. I'm gonna have a go at that. So I thought as you can see it's a bit naff, it's not very round. I thought we'd have a go together, but that was my first attempt just to see whether I could do something sort of reasonably decent. But I thought that looked really pretty. So we'll do a tidier one. Now what we're gonna need, or what I'm going to need, microbeads. Some um I've got some beautiful gems here that can be used to go on jewellery. You can see there. We've got some beautiful plain ones. These are absolutely stunning. We've got those ones. Uh, we've got some normal gems that we may need for sort of decorating. Oh, yeah, that's, that's better. And we've got these ones. I have my Glitter Bells Glass Slippers Acrylic. I have some old forms. They're a bit naff, but I don't like them for acrylic, so they're ideal for what we're going to be doing today. I have my files ready for filing. And I have a really, this is a really old conky brush. It's just a little one. I don't want to use a big one because I don't want anything running away from me while I'm trying to, to manoeuvre it. Is, I learnt with this brush. I learnt acrylics, so it's a bit old. It's a bit, a bit naff, but it'll do the job. And also, I have this little bottle. Not using obviously polish, but it's quite a good size for the ring. So we've got to try and fit this form to this bottle. So, what I want to do, you can see that, bring that round, make sure it's stuck, because this bit is the bit where the ring's going to be made, so we've got to make sure that is stuck well, because we don't want that popping up when we're trying to make something. So I think that's as stuck down as we can get. We'll just stick that bottom bit down out of the way. So this bit around here is what we're going to be using for our ring. So I'm going to get everything ready and then I'll come back to you. Okay. Now you can just use these rods. You can just use the form if you want, but um, you've got to get it perfectly round and keep it round so I thought the only way I'm going to be able to keep that round is use a bottle so get all those out of the way so let's get started I'm going to get my acrylic now, I want a reasonably wet bead but not too wet I don't want it wet enough that it's going to run away as you can see I'm just using a tiny tiny bit and that's why I only wanted a small brush because I want to maneuver a small bit at a time especially when we're just getting started so as you can see it's already starting to go so and I want a nice thin ring so I'm just going to keep maneuvering while it's still wet to keep that thin Wiping the brush, and you can do these as thick 
or as thin as you want. I don't want a too thick a ring this time. The last, the first one I tried, my practice one was a little bit thick. So I wanted to go a little bit thinner this time. Bend it down a little bit. Once that bit's reasonably set, we can move on to the next bit. It's just about set enough that I can leave it and it's not going to go anywhere now. Okay, so you can see that easy how thin that is. On to the next bit. And you use you use it as as, as much as a bigger acrylic beads as you need to, but I want to work with small beads so it doesn't run away. I'm not chasing it all the way around the form then, just a little bit at a time, and it'll give you a bit more time to shape it properly, so you're not rushing and then having to do a shed load of filing hopefully there won't be quite as much filing okay not bad but do remember you can we will be filing afterwards so if you go a little bit off it doesn't matter my first one was terrible. I'm hoping this one's going to turn out a little bit better. Okay, so I've got a little tiny bit bigger bead there. Let's put that. There we go. Put that up to the other bit. There. I'll be able to bring that round a little bit more. Just checking we haven't popped open. Now you can probably see I'm going a little bit off course, it's going to be a bit of a wonk, but I'm hoping we can sort of bring that back. If it goes a little bit off course, it should be fine because we should be able to just bring that all back and then file to straighten up. So good. I'm hoping it's all going to line up nicely when I finish. Otherwise, I'm going to be really annoyed. Um, 
on our last little one more bead. Pop that in there. Now when we've gone over, well when we've done this first layer we can go over it again um, to thicken it up a little bit. If it's too thin it's gonna snap when we try and file it. So you can always go in and thicken it a little tiny bit. So we'll just get this bit done first. Keep an eye on that until it's polymerized a little bit because it's still quite runny. bit wonky but you know they're from, from a practice hand so it's not the end of the world if it doesn't look that great okay so as you can see in some bits they're a lot thinner than others so I'm just gonna go over with a little coat of it now just drag it over and spread it out a little bit Make it that little bit thicker so we don't end up snapping it because it's going to be very delicate once we've done. Once it's been done, you've got a guide to stick to so it's not going to go all over the place. Let's go around a little bit. Go around this bit. I'm going to even it all out so it's all evenly spread. If we look down there, we can kind of see where it needs a little bit more. See where it's a little bumpy? So there's a little bit just here. We need to be putting a bit more in. So if we try and do all this now, it means less piling. There's any dips and bumps, sort them now. Because who likes piling? Okay, let's have a look now. That's looking a bit better. We could do it a little bit here. I think that's not too bad at all. We're a little bit thick there, but we can file that. But yeah, just a little bit more. Chunky bit there, it's going to be sorted out. We'll file that off once it's all set. But the rest doesn't look too bad, it's a little bit thinner than the last one. So I'm going to let this sit and dry and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so this is all set and I've already taken it off the form, and that is what we'll be left with. I mean, that's had about Ten minutes and that's nice and solid and and done and as you can see it's not too bumpy so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop it back on take where the form has been I'm gonna pop that back on and just give it a rough file round 
smooth any bumps out. And then we can do the side when we take it off. Just gives it that little bit of um, stability if we leave it on there. As we can see, that's coming out lovely. And you can take it off and do it, I just thought, because it's quite um, fragile, it's not going to break. too bad at all. It's a few bumpy bits but it's not bad. I get my little brush. And there. See that? That's not bad at all. So I'm going to slide it back off. And there we have it. And we can see a few bits that will need filing but that's okay. So now, just got to do the sides. Just being very, very gentle as to not break it. So if I slip it over my thumb, just do a tiny bit at a time. Going around until we've got that got it sorted. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over. Do this side. As you can see, this side is quite a bit thicker. So there's quite a bit needs to come off that. So we need this a bit of stability. So we're going to hold that on without. To... So I can put a bit of pressure on without it snapping. So I'm going to let you watch me file this and then I'll come back to you afterwards. 